In back segment tonight, new poll about how American Muslims see the jihad, about 600 followers of Allah. We're asked a series of questions by the Center for Security Policy. First up, I believe that violence against those that insult the Prophet Muhammad or the Quran or Islamic faith is sometimes acceptable. 29% say yes, it's acceptable sometimes. 61% disagree with that. Two, violence against Americans here in the USA can be justified as part of the global jihad. 25% agree, 64% disagree. Muslims in America should have the choice of being governed according to Sharia. 51% agree, 32% disagree. Joining us now from Portland, Oregon, Harris Zafar, spokesman for the Ahmadiyya Muslim community there. And from Phoenix, Dr. Zudi Jasser, president of the American Islamic Forum for Democracy. Um, the one that is a little disturbing, doctor, we'll begin with you, is the 25% that say, um, you know, look, if there's a holy war, violence against Americans legitimate. 25% of the 600, that's 150, right? Yeah. That, that's yeah. a little, little off-putting, is it not? Oh, it is, and, and I'm so glad this study is getting, and I'm, I'm glad you're paying attention to this, because Americans need to understand that the violence is not the problem. That's the tip of the iceberg. And we're learning from this, which is what our organization was founded on back in 2003, that the solution is to separate mosque and state. Sharia is the instrument of the Islamic State. So American Muslim community, as diverse as we are, the adherence, the allegiance to Sharia as a law above uh, states like ours, a, a secular state that separates church or mosque and state, is very important to understand that that's the tip of the iceberg. And until we empower Muslims that are that other 75 percent, that 70 percent that rejects that, we're going to see, you know, where's the continuum going? It's, it's going not. towards it's 50, radicalization. It's 51 percent uh, that say Sharia law should be uh, the reigning law. Now, I feel a lot of that's because of some Muslim Americans that didn't weren't born here, they came here from other places where Sharia was in place. How do you see this, uh, Mr. Zavar? Well, uh, Bill, the way I see this is this, this survey really underscores the two major points that the Ahmadi Muslim community has been advocating for decades. Number one, that although the vast majority of Muslims here in America are peaceful, there's a great need for everyone, Muslims, non-Muslims, and extremists like terrorists and neoconservatives, to understand the true and reconnect the true themes of Islam. And number two, leadership matters because it influences the people that, that are the members, which is why it's significant as a, as a case point that the Khalifa, the Caliph, the Khalifa of Islam, His Holiness, Mirza Masur Ahmed, who leads a large just organized body of Muslims in the world has constantly called for exactly what you're saying, that Sharia is not meant to be an instrument of coercion, yeah, but if 51%, that Islam advocates for free speech. If, but, mm -hmm. the, but here's what, look, most people don't understand the Muslim community in America because there's so few Muslims here, um, and mo in many parts of the country there aren't any. But if you have 51% of American Muslims mm -hmm. saying, you know, what, you know, we respect Sharia law more than American law, mm -hmm. that sends a message that they're not <coughs> fully... Uh, assimilated in America, Mr. Zafar. Yeah, so uh, there's two things to be said there. One is um, that those people clearly either don't know the U.S. Constitution or don't know Sharia law. Because uh, if I was if I was polled, I would even say yes too. Because the U.S. Constitution is the most Sharia compliant constitution in the world because it advocates for the freedoms, the liberties uh, these... that, that Islam champions. So no, that's so no, I would it, also say yes to that under Sharia law would never see the light of day here. Go ahead, doctor. What do you say? But, I mean, those apologetics, that denial is the exact problem that this study is trying to change. As long as we focus just on the violence and we say somehow this apologia of the compatibility, this is nonsense. Most of the studies around the world show 90 percent adherence in states like Egypt and Afghanistan. So, therefore, we have to engage the fact that when you have 25 percent of, of 3 million, which is hundreds of, you know, hundreds of thousands of Muslims that adhere to this, the Sharia state that pulls and radicalizes Muslims towards ISIS, if we're going to have a strategy that we recommend to our government to, to counter-radicalize, it has to be not only engaging the violence, but engaging the Shariaization, right. if you will, Let of the Islamic State. Let me give Mr. Zafar the last word to be fair. Go ahead, sir. Uh, thank you. Uh, I agree every, with everything that's been said, which is why you'll find that the, the Ahmadiyya Muslim community, who's, who's the oldest Muslim organization here in North America, has continually advocated for the Islamic principles, which we ask everyone to join us on, which is non-coercion, absolute justice, and the separation of mosque and state. We've been here the longest. We've been saying that okay, for a very no long jihad, time. It's time right? for no holy war.
to establish uh, Islam? Absolutely. The founder of our community, the, the promised Messiah we've been waiting for, said that the jihad by the sword is dead. Now the jihad by the pen reigns. Okay, gentlemen. But you can't thank talk you. out of both sides of your mouth, Harris. Okay, no, 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 but wait, wait, wait. Let's, let's not get into that. Thanks, he said Jesse. what he said. We'll let it stand. Plenty yeah. more ahead as a factor.